So we have a grocery haul from Prime, you guys. This is Amazon Fresh. I got a few things, a few essentials for the house. Um, and I am so happy and excited to share with you guys. Now, I'm going to go in saying what I like and what I didn't like. So, yeah, mamas, listen up because... Um, I actually had a friend or have a friend at work that um, orders Amazon fresh all the time and she said that she loved it okay so on my end it's gonna be something totally different like I love some things and some things I don't like okay so now I'm gonna tell you if you are um, just shouting out the moms out there that are getting like government benefits and stuff like that if you do have Medicaid for yourself for your kids um and if you have a food stamps you can definitely get amazon fresh um you don't have to pay for taxes um and then also you do you can get it monthly amazon prime or well the whole amazon <laughs> um membership for like five dollars and 95 cents so yeah i wanted to let you guys know that and you can get some things that are cheaper um for you than um others that um may have more money i guess um they will pay like you know their taxes on fresh food and stuff like that um in other words you won't have to pay for your taxes on your fresh food and stuff like that now they do have things that are not government um food stamps um and it, it will tell you on the website um with the food anyways um so i did try it out because i am getting um government assistance right now food stamps and i just kind of wanted to share with you guys like the total every of just this stuff here was 50 bucks i kind of felt like i was robbed like for real you guys i kind of felt like um i was robbed of money this stuff 50 bucks is not like worth it i went to targets you guys it's my second haul went to targets bought one two three four five plus this big bags of stuff um and it was only 40 some dollars so i think on the con side amazon knows what they're doing <laughs> especially on the food side they know everybody's looking for stuff because it's COVID-19 is it's getting real out here and people are willing to spend that much money on food and thank God that I had my assistance I just kind of feel like um you know I was robbed a little bit but I did go back in um the good thing about that is that when you do buy something and you don't like it you can definitely get a refund for it because um it's basically going to tell you to see you know comment on what what went wrong or what happened to the item and they will refund you the money like either the day or the next day um i did refund some things here and they told me just to keep the item and then they also was willing to send out like a uh another item items that i had refunded um i wanted refunded and um, they were pretty cool i love amazon's uh customer service it's always lit it's always like they get back with you like in like 30 or 40 minutes you know you just have to be patient but um yeah let's get into the haul so the first thing that i bought like i say this is mostly uh essential stuff so the first thing that i bought was just this elastic squeezable home style relish this is the sweet one now let me tell you what i'm going to be doing with this and um i did buy some organic flatbread everything thins these are from whole foods if you didn't know oh crap <laughs> y'all i'm just dropping stuff okay you need to stay in your area stay in your lane now <laughs> don't be falling all over okay so but um if you didn't know amazon um amazon fresh they also sell whole foods items so if you're a whole food person and you love like organic stuff um you can definitely or vegan stuff you can definitely like I, me personally i love vegetarian food but i'll definitely eat like i'll have my moments where i want to eat meat and stuff like that um and i'm not by any way vegetarian <laughs> i just like to eat vegetarian food because it makes it fills me up pretty quick and um sometimes i just don't want to deal with meat I don't know if that makes any sense like I'm on and off hot and cold you know how that goes um but yeah you can buy um some of the um 
whole food stuff there as well um, and then I got some of this star kiss 70 uh, calorie 7 grams of protein uh, chunky light tuna and water um, now these three things right here are going to be staples for my lunch for work you guys um, and I'm going to try to redo the whole star kiss chunky light uh, grab and go uh, lunch pack because it normally has like the little um, relish pack, a little mayo pack, some crackers, and one cup, one can of this inside, one of the little bitty cans. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to waste my money. And also, um, Amazon Fresh had that too, but they wanted $2. And I normally get it from 7-Eleven by my job, and it's always like $2.99, so three bucks. So I just went ahead and bought bought these. These um this was on sale, I think it was like 98 cents or something like that. I can't remember. And these were on sale for like a dollar, and this was probably like a dollar too. So you know, win win. Um, and I'm gonna add some fruit to it and when I do prep this stuff, I will definitely show you guys. Just let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that because I do have a lot of ideas. I'm a whole single mama out here and I just want to help you guys out and keep you guys in the know about a lot of different things um, that I do run across <laughs> um, and savings and stuff like that. So y'all let me know. Um, and then I also got grabbed some of this vitamin water, zero sugar. Now, this is not the vitamin water that I ordered. I honestly love the dragon fruit water that they have. Um, the vitamin dragon fruit, I believe, yeah. Um, and they, I guess they were out. Now, they did say that they would contact me and let me know that if they were out of something, they would exchange it for something different, another drink um, that was the same price. But they never did um, communicate with me. So, whoever did my order just randomly grab this now I've never dr drunk this before um and what is this flavor anyways um like I can't even see uh this is blueberry pomegranate so this is blueberry pomegranate now I love blueberries I love pomegranate so this won't be a big difference so I'll go ahead and keep this and drink this um but I did put on there um I didn't want to refund I just wanted to exchange this so I have the original ones that I ordered it's gonna be coming out today um, probably in a couple of hours cuz Amazon Prime ships everything out um, within two hours you guys so um, make sure you're at home or have somebody at home you they definitely don't have to sign for your stuff so they will definitely put the, the order on your porch your doorstep so make sure that if you're at work order it by the time you think you're going to be getting off of work so that your food like meats and stuff uh don't like get hot or temperatures so i don't want to show you that i did get some oh let me take those out because i didn't i didn't uh, want to take these out but um I did buy some frozen, like one frozen item, and they did have like it secured in these little bags, but it wasn't pretty much secured. This was open, and then it has like the little ice jelly packs in there. Um, now, when I was on Amazon, they said that I would have like a, a storage bag or some sort, like a freezer bag um, that they were sent with the frozen goods and stuff like that, but they didn't. So that was a con too, um, because I thought that that was what's going to happen. So I did go to Dollar Tree and I did go to Burlington, but by the time I got to the house, my, uh, the little gel bags, they were unthrawed, but everything was still cold. Um, but if I had to stay out a little longer, everything, um, the item that I had that was in the freezer bag, or I guess they call this the freezer bag. I don't know, but they said it was like an insulated bag that they were supposed to send, but instead they they sent the paper bag. Um, so yeah, um, it probably would have just like been mushy and just disgusting. Um, and yeah. <laughs> um, so next I did buy some easy, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in real quick. So I did buy some Izzy grapefruit sparkling juice. I love Izzy and it's just a little, just a bottle. What I normally do with these, I just kind of put them in the refrigerator. Once they get cold, put them on ice um, in like a 
like a glass or something like that and just drink it I, people think I'm drinking rosé for real you guys <laughs> um and I'm like I'll sit on my balcony or you know I just chill out that's just how I chill out um but I love Izzy water because there's no added sugar, no preservatives, and it is um, zero cal. It is zero, um, 120 calories for a whole bottle. Um, so most of the time, I just drink half of the bottle because I don't want to be dealing with all those calories. <laughs> um, and then I got some Louisiana hot sauce. This is like one of my staples. I love it, love it, love it. So they happen to have a big bottle of it. Um, also, you guys, when you get your food from Amazon Prime, you just never know because COVID-19 is going around real thick right now um, and it's crazy out here. <laughs> um, but I'm so happy that they do have this fresh thing. So if you do run out of staple stuff like I did, you can definitely order from there, but just be safe about it so just make sure you have Lysol wipes or something like that so you can wipe everything down because I did wipe everything down I don't care if it was like paper or whatever I still wiped it down because I just wanted to be safe have a whole seven year old son I'm a whole mom he needs me so I just rather be safe than sorry um I also got the chosen foods um 100% pure avocado oil spray um, I got this and when I got this, I did get a refund back on this because when I got this, um, it just seems to, um, I don't know, like when you take up a, when, when you, um, when you pick up a can and it's like super warm, like I just feel like it just dries out the oil that's in there or I don't know how it works, but it just felt so freaking like nothing's in there. Like right now, as I. It just feels like nothing's in there. My sister used it last night, you guys, and she said it was okay, and she felt okay today. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Um, they did, like I said, anything that you ref wanted refund, refunded, they will also tell you that they will also just give you a refund and then message you and let you know that they could uh, let them know what they can do better. Um, and then they will ask you if you want to, like, if you want them to send out that same product um, and another thing is to look at all dates on your items because like we definitely need the stuff um, but I don't trust sometimes the dates because anyone can change a date any company can change a date um, so um, like I did check on all the dates and stuff like that um, and everything seems to be good okay um, now I will say one of these items I just felt really like I'm done with it <laughs> but I bought this Smackers natural peanut butter cream um, I didn't order this this is not my natural order that I ordered I actually ordered the Jeff natural peanut butter um, I wish I had I have one already but it's like probably in the storage room but um they sent the Smackers Natural, and once again, they didn't call, they didn't text, or sent an email stating that they didn't have Jeff Natural Peanut Butter, so they sent this instead, and I mean, it's okay, I've never tried this, I will try this, I love Smackers um, Jelly, um, but this wasn't one of the items that I asked for, so I did ask for a refund on this, um, they did try to, again, um, tell, ask me that I want to did I want them to send another like one out even though I got the refund because they want to make things right um you know so yeah I got that we'll try that I'm just not sure about this whole grease stuff that's in there but I'll pour it out um that might be just the peanuts in there um oily peanuts I guess so I did um splurge a little bit on the Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar with the mother the mother <laughs> um so yeah um i did get some of that because i know you guys like my period started and i need something to de-bloat me so in the morning time i definitely don't drink this straight if you want to keep all your teeth <laughs> look sis don't drink this straight ever so i tend to either mix it with cranberry juice or my tea um or i dilute it with water so I'll just do a, like two caps full in a cup of this and two caps full of water or maybe three and I'll dilute it that way. This is honestly like a great source for 
just de bloating yourself if you are a woman and you have a strong monthly like i do and my monthly is irregular you guys and oh my gosh like it can just pop up at any time and whew, yeah this right here the rags is one of the favorite ones that de bloat you especially if you want to just do something natural um so yeah um and then also so you guys have to run and grab that Jeff natural peanut butter because I wanted to show you guys before it bothered me. <laughs> so I got the low sodium and I got this at the store, the low sodium natural Jeff honey and cream, uh, creamy peanut butter. Now my son loves this one, um, but I love this, the low sodium natural, just Jeff straight out Jeff. Um, and this one has no need to salt, so um, it doesn't have any salt in it. Um, but yeah, this is not... <laughs> the same uh, peanut butter so I just kind of wanted to just share with you guys like you um, watch out for stuff like that just you know and I wish that you know the whole thing I wish that Amazon would like even if they have a receipt online like at least have a receipt in the back like the stores you know um, so that you can go over your stuff instead of just going online and stuff like that and checking and have to go back and forth and back and forth so I just think it's better to just have a paper receipt already handy so you can see or the Amazon um, the Amazon like fresh workers would just like stand at your door I know it's not contactless or whatever but just stand back you know and watch you while you go to your things and see what what happened you know um so that, that they don't know like next time you know maybe check for it because sometimes i think they be in a rush you know just to get people stuff orders and stuff like that um but yeah i just feel like like wait for the person to open the door or whatever if they're not there then yeah go bye <laughs> but and i'm not just trying to say it like to be mean or anything like that but i'm just saying like make sure they get their items make sure they look at their items make sure they're okay with their items we're happy with our items and stuff like that um but in general i know they don't have time because they have so many orders to fulfill um but yeah it could be just like a little you know um thing that they, they can start doing maybe i don't know um and then i got this rice select brown organic uh tex mati signature rider american style basmati um rice that i got um and i i don't know you guys i just feel like this rice is maybe old i don't know because it looks kind of dry and i don't know maybe it's supposed to look like that um, but I am going to give it a try. I'm going to actually try, test it out. I mean, the dates on everything looks pretty much okay. Um, but it's just some things that just sticks out to me that when I'm in a store and I look at things, like in a store, it will be so much fresher. But this seems like it's just been sitting around for a long time. But I will go, I will test this out and just make sure it's not because I definitely do not want to feed this to my son or myself. Um, so you just have to look and make sure it's fresh. Like I say about the whole expiration date, different companies do do that. They will erase an old expired um, date off of it and then put their own date on there to make it look like it's, you know, it's brand new. So you just have to be mindful of stuff like that. So I did buy some Zanare, um New Orleans traditional rice. And these are the sides and this is just yellow rice. Um yeah and it's just just a box of rice and then i did buy some dirty rice because i haven't had this in a long long time so what i normally do a lot of people put like whatever kind of meats they like in there but um me i just like to put like ground turkey or chicken um sometimes i put both um and that's when i was eating it back when um but Probably when I make this, I'm just going to put um, ground turkey and we're going to eat this with like maybe some gravy and some biscuits and call it a day or some corn and call it a day. Um, the next item was this one that I'm not definitely not going to keep. I'm not going to even donate it to anybody because I just feel like this is very old you can just tell in the color of the boxes like the color of the box is like still like the color is fading out um so i know that even though this date says one thing like it came to me beat all up like as you see it that's how it came to me 
you know the date says that it expires um december 21st 20 so this year um so it's not out of date but i just I don't want to fool with it. I'm not going to even open it. I'm not going to even try to give it to my son. I did definitely go and buy. Um, let's see. Let me show you guys. I de definitely went into Target yesterday and bought a whole brand new box with all these beautiful flavors. <laughs> um, so I'm going to share with that with you guys um, on on this the second vlog. So stick around. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to just like, you know, dispose that because I don't know. I don't know you guys. I just, if you guys feel like I'm wasting food, that's fine. But I'm just one of those moms where I'm just like you stuck up. Like you may be stuck up with something or you're stuck up. I'm stuck up with food. Okay. I'm picky about what me and my son eat. So if I feel like it's endangerment, like it's, in, it's a danger for like me to eat, it's gonna be exactly a danger for my kid to eat. So yeah, and I got some permanent, permanent easy sparkling juice water. Um, and this is uh, what that looks like. I did get some two packs of Betty Crocker pizza crust for me and my son to make pizza tonight because that's what he wanted. Um, I, we were going to have bagel pizza, but I forgot I had bought this on Amazon as well. So we're going to go ahead and use this right here. And then for the frozen item that I got, um, this is the non-GMO Alexa um, seasoned waffle cut fries. Whenever I see a waffle cut fry, y'all already know, sis, I think of woo chick filet okay i can't even get to my chick-fil-a right now every time i go over there they are packed they're crowded everybody's getting to the spinning motion everybody's getting back out and about and going to restaurants and stuff like that and i just you know i just want some fries that's all i want but i don't i'm not willing to sit in line okay so i got these and I did ask a Chick-fil-A worker what kind of fries they use and she told me but I'm going to I'm going to keep that secret to myself, okay? I'm going to keep that waffle fry secret to myself because I definitely want to get in trouble. <laughs> um but yes, you guys, I probably in the next vlog I'll just probably like sneak it in. I don't know. Uh but yes, yes, um y'all every time I get waffle fries, I'm thinking about oh my gosh, I am thinking about you chick-fil-a now i'm gonna pair this with some um is it i'm gonna pair with this with my buffalo chicken patties that i got from i think um it's not gordinia but it is it is morning star forms buffalo chicken um they are vegetarian and i'm gonna make my own chick-fil-a so yeah boom tied out Chick-fil-A better watch out now. Okay. Um, so anyways, let's get to the Target haul, you guys. So you guys, this is my Target haul right here. I got all this at Target's for $40.02. I did use food stamps. Um, so yes, I just want to show you what all you can buy at Target's. Now, if you have a Cartwheel app, the Target's Cartwheel app, Definitely use that and go into your cartwheel and find some good savings. Most of the stuff that I have today, I got some um, some money back on my cartwheel. And then I also got some money back on Instacart um, for probably about one thing. But it's okay. And that was my Morningstar um, vegetarian buffalo patties. Um, but either way it goes, it's a win-win. You still save. Um, and how much did I save um, on at the Target store? Now, I don't use my cartwheel. I always tend to forget, you guys. But if you can make a little note on your um, grocery list, because I did. I was at work, and we have a Target right near my work. So I can just, like, pretty much walk over there, and I'm fine. 
um, but if you have sticky notes at work or at home make sure you use your sticky notes and put it on there and remind yourself to use your cartwheel because you will definitely save a lot of money now I could have got five dollars off on this purchase because my purchase was forty dollars but I didn't use my cartwheel app because I forgot you guys which is crazy um, so I'm gonna start doing that myself but I just want to remind you guys if you don't do it make sure you go ahead and just try to remind yourself to use your Crowell app because you definitely can save a lot of money just doing that. And since I didn't do that, um, only save a dollar ninety five, which is okay because I'm still saving, I'm still winning, um, and I got all this lovely stuff for forty dollars, you guys. So um, you definitely can shop at Targets on a budget. Um, when I went into Targets, I definitely had a fifty dollar budget, and I was under uh, under. Um, my budget um by ten dollars um so yeah you guys so let's get into the haul so um like i say that is one of my mom things that i love to do is have my cartwheel um i wish my phone was charged so i can show you guys but i probably will link like a picture or something of what cartwheel looks like you just go into your um iphone app or your um google apps and that's how you find it or play store app and that's how you will find it it's just a target's cartwheel and it also has um the ads in there as well um the good thing about it is that you can link your cart to it so you don't have to be funneling around if you have the kids um you don't have to be funneling around for a card or anything like that now i don't think that you can link your full stamp card to it but um, you definitely can link a credit card or a debit card to it or a Target's gift card if you get a Target's gift card. Um, so yeah, you can, you have to look around when you go to Target's and just find some stuff. Now everything, mostly everything is the Market Pantry because I love their brand um, and I don't have like anything bad to say about the Market uh, Pantry because it is a cheaper and a their brand um so that's how i am able to shop with my food stamps and buy at least two or three meals out of it so let me get into the haul you guys i did find some i didn't even know they had their own butter but this is a new brand from Target. it's the good and gather and this is a salted um spreadable butter with canola oil made with sweet cream um i normally don't get butter <laughs> with salt in it but um, I'll probably use this for like eggs and definitely not put salt in it. I'll just put pepper. Um, but like on bread and stuff, I don't think I would use this unless I'm having maybe an avocado toast. Um, so, and I did check their avocado out and I just wasn't too pleased with it. But yeah, they do have another brand called Good and Gather. Um, so look for that. That is Target's brand. Also, Target's has um, their own brand of Market Pantry turkey bacon so if you're into turkey bacon definitely grab that um this is 60 percent less fat i love me a great turkey bacon a good turkey bacon they also have the good and gather 12 large fresh eggs and these eggs are really big now i was looking for their brown eggs and i think they were out like i say it's COVID 19 a lot of people are stocking up and you know i just always say like this Think about your neighbor. Think about your family. Like, would you grab everything in the store for yourself and your own family just to make satisfy you and your family? Or would you share? You know, um, just think about other people in general, our elders. Like, don't start grabbing up everything. Make sure they're okay before you start getting everything. Um, so I did find some blueberry waffles that they have. Put that back, please. My son is trying his best. Stop it. I I, when, I, when I'm done, when I'm done, Ash. And we're going to like this video and thumbs it up. Don't give us a thumbs down. Yes. Um, definitely not give us a thumbs down with all this good advice. Um, but I did find some blueberry waffles, you guys. This is only 10 waffles. This is going to be breakfast for tomorrow. And I cannot wait to try it out. So we're going to have just turkey bacon, eggs, and our waffles. Um, and then I got my son. He loves Doritos, Nacho Doritos. So they have their own brand of Nacho Doritos. And the best part, it is gluten-free. So I definitely went ahead and got him some of those because I think these are more better. Um, and you guys, 
I am going to start shopping at Target's because a lot of people say, like, they tell me things about Target's and I love, love, love Target's. It's my favorite store. I, literally, I will move in that thing. <laughs> Y'all, sis, look, sis, I will move in Target's. I don't care. <laughs> um, and then I got the Arches Farm uh, Honey Batter Tenders. This is fully cooked with white um, meat chicken. This chicken has been raised with no antibiotics ever, no added hormones, and no steroids. So I think this is a great, great, great thing. Um, the fact that it is all white meat because I love all white meat chicken and there's like no rib meat. It's going to taste so much different than our normal Tyson's chicken. So I want to go ahead and try this out. Um, with this meal, either I'm going to make it with what it has on the bag. I try to sometimes do what it has on the bag. So if it has like green beans, I'll pick up some green beans and see if that works. But if my son is not into veggies on that day, I'll let him eat his nacho chips. Now he won't eat the whole bag because I'll portion size everything out and then still save some stuff, save some chips um, just in case. Um, and then I bought him a Lunchable. Just in case he get you know hungry and while making the pizza he can have a little snack, um, and I'm okay with that that he eats that and the pizza too because he's not gonna want to eat anything else after he eats his pizza. So I try to like if he tells me like mom I'm hungry or whatever can I have a little snack I'll you know give him this um, and if he don't eat this and he waits that's even better. <laughs> Um, I did buy one banana because the bananas did not look ripe. <laughs> they didn't look good today. So I bought one banana. Yeah, I'm that mother. I will pick that banana off that little branch thing and I will buy it like that. Um, because that's really all I need. I'm going to be starting like drinking my smoothies and stuff. So I really just like cut it in half, three halves. Um, if you do do smoothies, you can with big bana bigger bananas. You can just cut it in thirds and have banana for that like save your money sis <laughs> and then i got the veggie chicken uh morning star farms uh buffalo chick patties these are so freaking good you guys and this is 100 percent plant protein so this is so good for my vegetarian fans out there vegan plant-based um even if you eat meat you still eat this and still feel really good that you ate this because you guys once i start eating this like literally meat just don't seem right to me to eat now i'm not going to be one of those people like you know um you know i'm switching over and stuff like that i just I have my moments. I said that in my prime, my fresh prime um, haul just a minute ago. I, I Sometimes I switch back and forth. I do eat meat, but sometimes I have my moments where I want to be vegetarian. Like, I just, I want to do that, sis. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, um, but I don't buy a lot of meat. So, I try to keep, like, a lot of veggies in my house, you know. So, when I do have those moves. I definitely will do what I want to do so yeah I bought these because like I said we used to buy we usually buy the Tyson's one but since I've seen this one and I see that it doesn't have antibiotics in it and all that good stuff um, I'm gonna start going to Target's and buying this like my whole mind frame with Target's is like I'm definitely gonna be buying stuff now I wish Target's had a V8 slash their brand because it's much cheaper but i went ahead and got veg splash berry blend it has antioxidant c and b vitamins so i bought that and then i bought market pantry zero calorie cherry limeade this is my favorite 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 um and i like to drink this one i just put it on like crushed ice and it's like a good summer drink you guys i did buy some shredded iceberg lettuce um like it says, you can use it for tacos, sandwiches, salads. Um, it says that every uh, the lettuce in this bag is thoroughly washed and ready to enjoy. Now, even though it says that, I will definitely go back in and wash it because I'll feel much better if I wash it. Um, you just never know what's really going on since it's whole COVID-19. You just never know what's going on in these uh, manufactories. Um, and then I bought two vegetables um, for our our pizza tonight we're gonna have side salad um, with some corn instead um, so yeah I'm just giving you some tips on what we're gonna be what I'm gonna be making like meal plans and stuff like that so 
Um, and I know it's probably not in order and I don't have a list or anything like that, but I go by mine, my mind when I'm ill planning and stuff like that. And then I'll go back and write it down. Um, but I just want to share with you guys like really quick <laughs> what I'm going to be doing with it. So I got the Market Pantry Steam Bag Cut Green Beans and that's going to go with our chicken here. Um, and then my Market Pantry Steam Bag Gold and White Corn Blend. Um, this is for the pizza tonight. Now we're going to have some more of these and we're not going to probably eat these until like next week. Um, um, and so I'm going to save some of these and we're going to have like some garden veggie rice with it. And now, so this is new to me from Target. So I may go back and get like maybe five or six more packets. Um, but they were super stocked. So this is the 96 garden vegetables. Now you guys see most of the stuff that you can just throw in the microwave and stuff like that. Now I don't do that. I will put this in like a glass Tupperware and then put it in the microwave instead of putting it, leaving it in my bag. Because I like to put a little butter in it. And since we got the salted butter here, um, I don't have to use salt in it. I can just use pepper um, and then just go by there. Um, so yeah, I got two of those and they did have like other brands, um, of that too as well. So double check your targets or if you don't see it, maybe sure you ask them, go ahead and screenshot it. I'm going to just hold it still so you can screenshot it, you guys. Um, and this is the good and gather one, but yeah, um, you guys can definitely ask them and they're open to, um, showing you where they at or they're open to uh, let you know if they have it in stock or not or when to come back and pick it up they do do curbside um, you guys so definitely do that now if it's a sm smaller target they will not do curbside you will definitely have to go in I did get some sliced ripe olives they did have a I think a, um, a little uh, percentage off on the slice out of but I wanted to go ahead and get a little can to go like this is going to go on my pizza and then some in my salads um and then I got some low sodium black beans that I'm probably going to have with another meal that I'm planning for and then I got three taco packs because they had like percentage off of this too as well so I got market pantry taco seasoning and I've had this before I love it and it's really really good um, and it tastes just like, um, I forget that other, uh, that other seasoning that I always get. Um, let me see if my sister has some here. Uh, uh, she's out. I think she's out, but there's another taco season that everybody always get. Um, and I went ahead, just want to stock up on some taco seasoning. And then also I got some Market Pantry Alfredo Pasta Sauce. Now I'm going to go to the store and get some chicken because I'm going to make chicken Alfredo, of course. Um, so I definitely got two of those. And this is what that looks like. Um, I got Parmesan because Parmesan was like $0.84 cents or $0.99 cents or something like that. And I got this Parmesan. It is a little Parmesan one, but... This is what last us, like for spaghetti, we're going to put this on our pizza, you know, stuff like that. Then I got pizza sauce here. You can definitely use pizza sauce for spaghetti too as well. Um, I do like to add vegetables to it, so it'll come out the same as spaghetti sauce. And then I got some light ranch dressing for my buffalo um, vegan chick patty there. Um, like I said, I'm going to use this. Um, this is gonna be a whole meal too. I'm gonna use the Morning Star Farms um, Buffalo Chick Patty with my uh, Alexa waffle fries, seasoned waffle fries, and I'm gonna make my own Chick Fil A uh, sandwich. Yes, honey, and I'm gonna use some of this lettuce. The lettuce looks so fresh, you guys. I can go in the store sometimes, and the lettuce looks so raggedy, so just disgusting. And you go in Targets, everything just looks so fresh. Um, and then I got for snacks and stuff. I don't buy as much snacks. Um, just buy what I know my son likes. Oh, you guys, let me forget about this. So I bought some Market Pantry 100% whole wheat tortillas, 10 inch tacos. So that's going to go with our tacos. 
I just need to get the meat. Now, uh, Target didn't have the meat that I like, which is the ground turkey. Um, they had, I think, Honeysuckle. I don't know if that's the only brand that they have. You guys, I will let you know, when you go in Target's and you're looking for meat, they did have, like, $3 off on packs of meat. I've seen this pack of meat. It was $3, and it had a $3 off coupon on it. So, that makes that meat free or whatever the change was, like, $0.49. Cents. You just pay $0.49. Cents. So, check your meats out. Like, they have sales in their meat departments, too, as well. They had sales, like, all over the store, but I just, just worry about groceries today. Um, I did see a cute dress that I wanted, but I just didn't have time because I was on my break, and I couldn't really just shop the way I wanted to shop. Because if I could have shopped the way that I wanted to shop, sis, it would have been over, okay? <laughs> but, yes, I bought some Mrs. Berry's Grab and Go Favorites. This is the powdered sugar donuts. Now, these are for my son, and I normally just get him two or three of these. Um, and not, like, every day, but just whenever he wants to eat, like, some sweets or something. I do let him have his sweets. I don't try to take it away from him. Now, I will let you know, even though I love to eat vegetarian foods and stuff like that, make it to make it clear... I don't not make my son eat vegetarian foods. Whatever my son likes to eat. If he want to eat meat that day, he can eat meat that day. You know, if he wants to eat like mommy that day, he can eat like mommy that day. But as far as me telling him he cannot do this, he can't eat that, no. I let my son eat the way he likes to eat. So, but at a moderate um, portion size. So, I will portion size these in a bag, like three each for like maybe, you know, three days out the week and splurge on that a little bit he can eat that um i did buy some chews because chews are really good these are 100 whole grain um and they're not high in uh fructose corn syrup artificial flavors no artificial flavors no added colors i mean it's really good it has grains in it it's so good and this is a box of 18 granolas um and this is the variety pack so these are quaker chewy variety pack you have six dark chocolates, six peanut butter chocolate chips, and six s'mores. They are so freaking good, you guys. Now, I know I've seen a lot of my YouTubers complain about the Quaker Chewy Bars um, not having enough of what they like. Girl, go to Target and find your a value pack of 18. You see that six, 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 six peanut butter chocolates, six dark chocolate chunks, and six s'mores. Uh, and I was actually surprised because I'm one of those, one of those YouTubers that was complaining about that. Like, they don't have enough of this. Um, but I did go on Target and I found a whole value pack that are, um, equally, um, that are equally, basically, um, and then I got the Market Pantry Gummy Worms for my kid and myself. I'll split this up between us and we'll both have like maybe four or five. And then that's it um, until they're all gone. Um, now we may have a night where we are just like pigging out, you guys, like for real, for real. Um, and I'm trying not to eat like as much sweet stuff. So I'll just pick on things. And so if we're not feeling these, I'll definitely get a pack of these uh, 50 pouches of mixed fruit. These are the Market Pantry brands. Um... And these are like new flavors that they have. This has no artificial flavors, no synthetic colors. And these are gluten free as well. So um, they have the flavors of grape, strawberry, um, orange, apple, blue raspberry, and cherry. Um, these are just 70 calories a packet. Um, and I really like it. like it. And these last us for at least like a good month or two. Um, so yeah. Those do last us like a good month. Um, so, you guys, that is it for that Target haul. If you watched all the way this far, trust me, you are the real MVP. You helped us out. You support our channel. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I can't wait to post uh, my upcoming video, you guys. Now, you guys know I try to do intros and stuff like that. And I try to keep my videos and stuff fresh. But I don't think I want to have an intro. I think I just want to pop in, you know, like I do. Um, <laughs> and uh, I just think that's just me. I don't want to be all extra and stuff. I know some YouTubers love, you know, stuff like that. Or um, subscribers or my family. Because you guys are my family. I, I only see you as my family. Um, so, I know you guys like to see stuff like that. But... 
I don't necessarily have time. Like, I'm a whole single mom. I work. I work, okay? I don't have time to be doing intro. If I do an intro, you guys, y'all gonna be surprised, okay? It's gonna be lit. But um, right now, for now, we won't be doing one. Um, so, yeah, that is it for the vlog. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Bam! Like it. And subscribe to our video. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye!